Lowen has a trait that we in the PICU community in particular really value, which is a little bit of a little bit of fight. We have two girls, Avon and Lowen. Avon is um, almost nine and Lowen is almost five. To know Lowen is to love her. She is just so wild and fun and just marches to the own beat of her drum. She loves life, she loves mermaids. She's just a normal five-year-old now. Lowen was almost two when she got sick. She had been sick for a few days, really vomiting. I had called her pediatrician's office and they said she needs to be seen immediately. I took her into Jeff City at Capital Region and right away they kind of knew something was wrong. They admitted her by ambulance to Women's and Children's in Columbia. They came in and since she was sick with E. coli, like that's what she got sick with first. And it was like that night that we got a diagnosis that she was diagnosed with HUS. HUS stands for hemolytic uremic syndrome. They kind of explained it and said that, you know, her kidneys would start shutting down and blood clots would be happening and, you know, all these like scary things that you don't think that that's gonna be your kid. And I was like, what? She's healthy, you know? Like, I, it just took a while to understand that. She was not Lowen. When I first initial saw her, I mean, I just broke down in tears because it just wasn't her. Pretty quickly, she was in complete kidney failure. We started on dialysis. And then one night, she in the middle of the night, she had a seizure, and she had five total. And on the fifth seizure, she was left pretty unresponsive. And at that point, they knew that she needed a pediatric neurologist, and Columbia did not have one. And then one of the neurologists from Children's came to evaluate Lowen in Columbia. They told us that you know she was going to need more intensive care, and we're going to have to transfer you. We knew we were going to go to Children's. I first met Lowen and the Goosey family after they'd already arrived here at St. Louis Children's. Her first week here in the pediatric intensive care unit, what I remember is sort of the stress and the fear on CJ and Cassie's faces. This is a young girl who'd gone from being completely healthy, what, two weeks prior to now being on a ventilator, on medications, on dialysis, having seizures, not always conscious. In Lowen's case, we did already know that she had hemolytic uremic syndrome, HUS naturally becomes a disease where people talk about kidney function and kidney failure, and that makes sense. But, you know, it's it's actually the neurologic complications of HUS that lead to the most instability and risk of death. We were just hoping, like, no more seizures. She had had five at that point, and we were just still hoping those kidneys would wake up. For a case like Lowen, for the pediatric intensive care unit to be able to provide the kind of comprehensive and life-saving service that they did for Lowen requires both the PICU team, which is doctors, nurses, respiratory therapists. It is the nephrology team who is helping us manage literally 24 hours a day orders for continuous dialysis. It is the neurology team who helps us manage continuous EEG monitoring and assesses 24 hours a day whether a child is having seizures or other other neurologic changes like stroke, and of course the infectious disease team who helps us think about management of complex HUS. St. Louis Children's Hospital is the only hospital in this region that provides all of those services for children. slowly and gradually her blood pressure began to stabilize and the amount of support and medication that she needed began to diminish. My default position is usually saying something like, I'm going to take care of you like you are in my own family. It is a way to try to be reassuring without actually promise something you can't deliver on. So the day that we could actually turn to Cassie and CJ and say, I think it's gonna be okay, it's an amazing day. As days went on and she got better and better and better, she started walking for us and she started eating for us and she started asking to go outside. And uh, that's really when we noticed her starting to become low again. It was so, so exciting to leave. She still had physical therapy and occupational therapy and things like that, but oh my gosh, it just felt so good to leave and get to go home and be a family again. I think Avon had to grow up a lot sooner than what she should have at five. You know, at one point she had said, like, I miss you guys so much, but I know my sissy is so sick, so you need to stay with her, you know? And when she grows up, she wants to be a PICU doctor, just like Mary Hartman. What a gift, what an incredible gift it is to have anyone, let alone a child, look at what you do and think, 
I want to be like that. It says extraordinary things about Avon, don't you think? That she would take from all of this what was almost for sure a terrifying, traumatizing experience for her and her family and come out of it thinking, these are people that help, that help other people. And I want to be someone like that. I mean, what does that say about St. Louis Children's Hospital that a little girl has her sister in the intensive care unit and that is her seminal experience coming out of this, is that she wants to be like the people that work here. What's better than that? Lowen's story is only possible at St. Louis Children's Hospital because the unique nature of all of the subspecialty services and the very complicated dance that has to all fall into play when a child with this level of organ dysfunction presents themselves is, is not possible almost anywhere else. There is an extraordinary amount of research that is behind every single clinical service that was involved in Lowen's care. This is research that's being done in the PICU, on the nephrology side, in dialysis, in the neurology, and frankly, in basic science labs, all of which ultimately comes into action and into play in caring for a child like Lowen. To anybody that's thinking about giving money, um, we have seen firsthand that it did save our daughter's life, and we're a family that didn't think that we would ever need a hospital like that. I wholeheartedly believe that St. Louis Children's Hospital saved Lowen's life. St. Louis Children's Hospital will always be a big piece of our heart. <laughs>